Good morning, Michael. If you look at example that Mrs. Rose has on her website with the uh, example number 51, notice how she's got a log here. So the negative that we have out in front is going to act just like this. And what's going to happen is it's going to cause the graph to flip over from what um, we normally would have. So what I want you to do is find the inverse, which in your case is going to be y equals 3 to the x, because it was a base 3 log. And then you're going to um, make your table. You're going to switch your x and y. okay? And then right here, instead of multiplying by the vertical stretch of 3, you're going to multiply by negative 1. Then add your, I think you said it was 4. I think it was x minus 4. So we're going to add 4 to this, our x's. And then we should get our table of values that you can plot. It's going to, so it's going to, instead of having, instead of going up like this, it's going to, it's going to kind of be reversed in this direction here. Okay, so it's going to flip it over about the um, x axis here. Okay, let me know if you have any other questions. Sorry this is rushed. Uh, Megan's got keystones this morning, so we got to get to school. But um, good luck. Enjoy your Renaissance Fair today. Bye.